Skyrim is a huge game with hundreds of NPCs you can conversate and interact with. But after playing the game for years, the world starts to feel emptier and the conversations start to feel more hollow. What do you need? Sometimes you get to choose a reply that fits your character's personality, which makes the game have more replay and roleplay value. But sadly, those conversations happen quite rarely and only with notable characters. Branching dialogue is one thing what Skyrim lacks in the roleplay section. But I'm not here today to rant about nearly 10 year old game and how it sucks and how I'm so tired playing it, no. I'm here to showcase a new NPC mod which really helps us with this problem at hand. Citizens of Tamriel by Craftian is now completed LE and SE mod which adds 43 new fully voiced NPCs to the game. All in all, the mod adds 7 hours of new dialogue. The mod author emphasizes on creating believable characters that fit the world of the Elder Scrolls and giving you, the player, more options on roleplay and help at progressing your character's story through these new NPCs. Apart from new voices, the characters feel like they have always been there. They feel organic and natural, and as a player, you're not forced to do anything with them or forced to go through a very straightforward conversation like with most of the vanilla NPCs. Every single new person residing in Skyrim is unique, and so if you think they might be kind of copy-pasted, you don't have to worry. The crowd is diverse, and they feel like real people, with aspirations, flaws and dreams. It's a really nice surprise to accidentally stumble upon one of these NPCs and have actually a meaningful conversation with them. The mod author actually mentions that they were intended to feel like easter eggs for the player, and that is one thing this mod excels at. I don't want to spoil all the different encounters with the characters this mod provides, but I'll introduce you to some of them. Here we have Fala from the College of Winterhold, and she is actually not really a mage. She is obsessed with giants and is currently doing a research about them at the Stonehill Bluff. It's quite dangerous to be here, but she is a courageous woman. Look at how they move, such strength and primal intensity. No wonder these mammoths seek them out. Why studying this tribe, of course? Giants are a fascinating folk. Oh, <laughs> I am well aware of the risks, but this is vital to my research. And what better way to learn of these mighty folk than up close in the field? Actually, she died to a giant on her way out, and I thought it was intended. Until I loaded back, and this time she survived and went on a really long walk. <laughs> in solitude, we have this bard called Florian, which reminds me of Dandelion or Yaskir from The Witcher. Speaks to the player differently depending on the gender of your character. Well, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Ah, I assume you're the hired hand. This place could use more drinks, and I am thirsty. Not really surprising, but it's fun to give him a good punch as a male character. Ow! That was most uncalled for. Sorry, Florian. An old warrior called Jaegir Stormhand will tell you his story if you sit down and drink with him. Now there's a strange request. I suppose there's no harm in it. Go on then. Grab a drink and sit down. He'll tell stories about his youth and battles and how he found love. It's quite cozy sitting with him in the tavern of Winking Skiver and listening to his tales for what feels like hours. Prepare a warm drink, sit down, relax, and just listen. With barely a hint of sunset poking through the gloom and rain, I walked over and asked them if they needed help back to the city. The woman smiled at me and threw back her hood, red hair and a twinkle in her eye. In Savangard, we meet Vengeance, 
She knows about you. Be prepared. But I do. I remember. Even death cannot soothe my pain. I have watched. I have waited. And here you are. You killed all of us. Slaughtered us like animals. And the others call you a hero. A god. In the village of Riverwood, we meet a former soldier, Malik, who is quite fond of the peacefulness of the town. He wants you to follow him, and if you do, he'll start brandishing his sword, thinking you're a Thalmor Let's spy. Let's absolutely clear. I don't know who you are or how you found me, but if you try anything, I will kill you. The Dominion pays well, of that I have no doubt. Even a Crip can still hold a blade. If you befriend him, he'll tell you stories about the war. Well, you seem honest enough. Let's sit down first. Then you can ask me whatever you'd like. My leg has started cramping again, as it is. Brevan is an alchemist and he lives in Raven Rock. Nern roots? Perhaps a dash of farmer blood? Let's hope I still have enough of that extract. Oh, uh, hello? Were you looking to use the table? As you can see, I am somewhat preoccupied at the moment. Darken the sky, faintest whisper. Karanth is a friendly, philosophical giant. He talks in rhyme. By talking to him, you can get a small glimpse to their world. I wish Fala could meet this gentleman. It is not entirely uncommon for one such as I to be confronted on the road, as I'm sure you can see, however. Thieves soon forget what they think they are owed. In Margarth, there is a temple of Dibella, and you can meet a snarky priestess called Sarath. Maybe you are a traveler. Try to stop yourself from drooling while you wander around and look for a chance to test these arts of ours. She's not entirely happy about where she is with her life, but at least she's content with the life in the temple. She's cynical, but don't get too annoyed with her. She has stories to tell. Or take her with you to your adventures. She'll be happy to leave Markarth. Oh well. The sewer rat has a sense of humor. How novel. <laughs> You're still here, then? That's unfortunate. There is also a pleasant Imperial soldier wanting to make the climb to the High Hrothgar, a Khajiit suffering from skooma withdrawal. Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! A pompous kid wanting to become an adventurer. <laughs> hey, I'm not a kid! I'm a brave knight! And you should show me some respect, Kerr. And a fucking Dramora selling loot boxes. Being so grants them an unparalleled sense of pride and accomplishment. After purchasing them, of course. Exactly. You are a sharp one, aren't you? You did come to the finest of merchants, after all. All you need to do is hand across a small payment of 1,000 septims. And the very utmost, bestest good shall be yours. The writing on this mod is great, and the voice acting is really good as well. Some of the NPCs are very funny, and the conversations light-hearted. But there are also tragedies, just like in the real world. It's a good balance. This mod succeeds to add death to the world of Skyrim, and it's clear that making this mod has been tons of work and probably many nights of creative process writing this dialogue. I recommend this mod 100%, and I think it will be a staple on my Lord Order from now on. It is just crazy how much this mod changes the feel of the game. Citizens of Tamriel is available for both LE and SE. Links are in the description, and don't forget to endorse the mod if you enjoy it. 
Thanks for watching guys and as you know, subscribe if you want to see more Skyrim videos. See you!